to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Spiritual law that governs the manifestation of power in the life of a believer. Now, please pay attention. This is a very important law. It's called the law of submission. The law of submission. James chapter 4 and verse 7, please. James chapter 4 and verse 7. Please read with me. Let's read as a church. Ready? One to read, please. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Did you say full stop there? Full stop. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Then it now says, resist the devil from the standpoint of that submission. And he leaves you with an assurance consistent with Genesis. Remember, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So when you resist the devil and he does not flee, the problem may not be the devil. The problem may be from the position you are resisting him. Are you getting what I'm saying now? He says, submit yourselves therefore. Remember the intention is to be free from the devil. But he says, start by submitting yourself therefore unto God. And then resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Write this down. You are only as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends and backs you. You are only as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends and backs you. You are only as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends and backs you. Please look up. If I told you right now or if you saw a picture of me and the U.S. Secretary of State, would that make any effect or would that create any effect on your perception? Let's assume you've been trying to look for a U.S. visa and you see me snap with the U.S. Consular General here in Nigeria and probably the one in charge of Africa and then you see me snap again with the Secretary of State. Would you want to know me? Would you respect me? Why? Because the fact that I have this level of proximity with them, enough to, to have a photo, it tells you that you can leverage on that relationship. When people say they are close to government or close to power as we call it, even if we don't like them, we seem to respect them. You are as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends and backs you is concerned so every time spiritual power is far from your life is also telling us the level of your relationship with the authority that sent you and the authority that backs you in every nation there are people who even though regardless their political office we say this one is close to the president this one is close to the prime minister and you will be surprised that the official person you were to meet you can bypass that person because you are looking for results you can even meet a little girl simply because she's the president's daughter is that true and you are talking with her whereas officially there was a route to follow and the lady says okay let me talk to my daddy for you and she talks and says i spoke to my father and he said come and see him tomorrow and everybody is angry you didn't follow the right way so well he has asked me to come are you getting the point now listen to me submission is a very powerful mystery that has not been understood in the body of christ 
that there is no individual who sustains the power within himself now i have taught here if i recall that the the nature of the dominion that we have been given as believers is not absolute dominion there are two levels of dominion there is absolute dominion and there is shared dominion is that true yes so the, the dominion that the saints have received is not absolute dominion, it's shared dominion. Shared dominion is like the light you have in your house. You have light, but it depends. The, the power holding company does not depend on you for light. They generate it. You have light and you can even help somebody within the limit of your partnership with them. Is that true? The day a relationship goes sour with them what happens jesus revealed the power of submission in matthew chapter 8 matthew chapter 8 let's hurry up please matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 matthew 8 from verse 5 very instructive let's follow carefully when jesus was entered into capernaum the bible says there came to him a centurion a centurion will be the equivalent of a captain are we together and beseeching him what did he say verse 6 saying lord my servant lieth home sick of the palsy grievously tormented next verse and jesus said unto him i will come and heal him that means i give you that honor i'm going to go all the way and come to your house and then this man shocks jesus with a very profound statement that is a lesson for us are you ready the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only does this look like genesis 1 verse 3 to 4 is there something that man knew speak the word only and my servant shall be healed because if it is god when he says it he will see it is that true next verse this is what supported his understanding for i am a man under authority that means this protocol is not strange by reason of my work with the army i understand authority and the power that comes through submission i am a man under authority in this case the authority of the roman government having soldiers also under me so you will have people under you and things under you to the degree to which you are under an authority everything will be above you if you are alone this man is teaching something powerful i first i first came under authority then as a result of that i now have soldiers under me because there is a threefold purpose of authority number one provision number two protection number three promotion this is the purpose of authority number one provision making the resources for your excelling available number two promotion by providing accreditation and leverage number three protection a system of defense while you go i am a man under authority having soldiers under me now watch this by reason of the authority i say to this man there you go and he goeth genesis 1 verse 3 3 and 4 again are you seeing the pattern now i am under authority so when i say I expect compliance I can say to one come so when you are under authority it gives you the power to say go and it gives you the power to say come are we together now and he cometh and to my servant do this and he doeth it verse 10 Jesus heard it and marvel I didn't see you in any of my lectures who taught you this where did you learn this irrefutable secret of the kingdom that in your submission is your greatness that in your submission is your power that it is on the strength of your submission to authority that every other thing under you will hear you too 
that means before anything under you obeys it will check whether there is something you are obeying to you see when jesus heard it he marveled and said to them that followed verily verily i say unto you he says i have not found so great faith no not in israel i have not found this construction this understanding authority when jesus came he announced that he was the son of god there was a name jesus never called himself throughout his earth work he never said i am god no i do not find it in the bible number two he never said i am father two words really jesus never called himself father when he walked upon the earth even though he was equal with god he called the holy ghost father he called his father father but he never called himself father he remained son which is the reason why everything hurt him because when he walked upon the earth he continued to let them know that i am under the authority of the father this is what the centurion understood so when the demon saw him they said we are seeing a 33 year old body but you are the ancient of this he said keep quiet i'm the son the moment i say i am father they are now authorized to rebel against me because they, I, I violate the law of submission. Can I tell you this? Submission frees you from the responsibility of backing yourself up. It is, it is painful to try to back yourself up. If the centurion tells you go and you do not go, you did not disobey him. You disobey the government that backs him. It now the government now will bring their full weight on you. Is that true? So when God sends you and you go as a man of God, you are in trouble. It looks very, very consoling. But now you are left alone to defend yourself. But if you go as one sent, the son of the living God. You see why Peter got it right? I know who you are. He would have said you are God. He said, mm -mm. I know who you are based on your exploits you have come as son and the government that backs you is headed by the living God and Jesus said that's it you got it behold what manner of love the father says that the, the father has bestowed upon us the Bible says that we be called what sons you do not do exploits as father read your Bible exploits is not for father fathers back those who do the exploits exploits is for sons hmm. are we blessed when jesus went to pray he didn't say god we are one so just listen quietly just because i'm on earth here doesn't mean that don't forget i'm still aware I'm, it's only 33 years here no he went and said our teaching us how to pray in John 17 when he was praying himself the Bible says he lifted up his eyes to heaven John 17 and verse 1 and he began to pray to the father can I tell you this return to the reality of sonship with the consciousness that there is an authority that backs you you see how children behave the moment you try to threaten them they verify whether their father is there with them and they can do all kinds of things for you in the presence of their father whether they are right or wrong you will deal with them at home but as far as that you have to protect that child for your namesake this is a very powerful key every time i minister i minister as touching this understanding that i'm a sent one number one but that there is an authority that backs me demons will verify it jesus i know paul i know who are you who are you does not mean where are you coming from who are you means where is the government that is backing you when david wanted to go and fight goliath read your bible ladies and gentlemen there was only one question saul asked him saul did not say um uh, okay i see that you're a fine young man give me the antecedents what have you killed mm -mm. he said whose son are you that's all i want to know let me know what lineage you are connected to because every lineage has its advantage whose son are you oh the benjamite go ahead 
but I can help you with my armor. He said, no, no, no. Since you agreed that I'm a Benjamite, leave me and see the advantage that that tribe brings. And when he stood before Goliath, Goliath, listen to me, Goliath stood and cursed them in the name of his God. Even as powerful as Goliath was, the secret was he submitted. He, he did not walk, he did not curse them because he was mighty. He cursed them in the name of the authority that gave him that strength. Can I tell you this? Your ministry will step into another dimension. Your life will step into another dimension if you walk conscious of the fact that there is a government in heaven and you must be vocal and let people see and know that this man standing is only representing a higher spiritual parliament the god of the universe so when you speak to demons before they leave they verify let's check what is the submission system it's like an entry code the moment it is there they will leave it's why you see ordinary men doing things that men cannot do why because it is not done by the men the men are only conduits let me tell you something there are some results men cannot produce it is not within the realm of men to do certain things are we together you must make up your mind today to walk in the consciousness of your submission this is the reason why that extension even in a church like this you will be surprised how you can ignore the man of God that God has placed over you and you will be surprised that even though you are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit there are certain cheap possibilities that this ministry carries as a mantle you may never walk in it every time you see people who are supposedly connected to you and the grace on you is difficult to flow to them I can tell you something is questionable about the submission even if they kneel down, even if it's a good afternoon, good, there, are, there are graces that come with authorities, both heavenly and earthly authorities. There are some things as a member of the house on the rock you should never struggle with. No, not excellence. No, not influence. These are graces that come. It's, it's an allocation like mineral resources. But there are people who can be within that place and yet not enjoy it and strangers can come with that understanding and tap into it in a moment and walk in it is someone learning have you raised people in your house and your own children are not experiencing the spiritual advantage of those people they come as strangers discerning and here you have this naughty children well god is changing them in jesus name but here you have these people who don't discern that daddy is also ceo and you see people come and they tap into that possibility can i tell you this you must be very discerning when it has to do with the subject of authority a woman can be married to a man who has the grace for influence and she may never have a job for years yet that man has been responsible for giving many people jobs the reason is because she's still seeing him as her husband the day she sees that in addition to my being your husband there is an authority that backs you and since i'm under that authority i place a demand There was a time they wanted to beat Paul. Paul didn't say, I'm a Christian. He said, listen, I'm a Pharisee. Look, I, I tap into the immunity that comes with my son. I'm not, I'm a child of God. But with respect to the punishment that is about to come, I am also a Pharisee. Do not forget. Give me my immunity as a Pharisee. You know what it means to be a Pharisee? It's a leper season of learning and climbing and defending yourself he said just because God called me don't you think I forgot I, I, I'm a Pharisee I know all of you before I met Jesus Christ I was a senior colleague to all of you don't downplay me I am a Pharisee and everybody brought they brought themselves back to order someone needs to walk to the devil and say listen to me first I am a child of God there is the authority that backs me are we together and then walk conscious 
of the privileges that you have truly i believe that there are some things that cannot happen to me as a person it may sound arrogant forgive me but it's what i believe and i don't intend to change it i really believe that there are some things that cannot happen to me you want to tell someone be healed and he returns healed you want to tell someone in the name of jesus i release you let doors be open or you want your own door to be open can i tell you sincerely portacot is a place of plenty portacot is a place of glory portacot is a place of lifting if you don't believe it refer to my first point and then come back to this point and now understand that it is true but the authority politicians have taught us when you want to enter certain circles they say let me show where is the paper who sent you here there are doors that don't open by appointment they open by the authority that accredited you there are jobs in this nation that does they don't publicize there are companies they don't publicize you never know that it is open the fact that you are not aware is a sign that there is nobody helping you it's not hidden it's not bribery they will tell you where is your referral so you find out that they've taken 70 people and you're wondering in my presence i believe in the power of the holy spirit i believe in the government of heaven that can back men i do not believe that anyone will sit under this atmosphere as i minister and go back the same this is why you hear me say those things i would be arrogant and even stupid to be talking by my own strength as a man of god but you 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 wait until you see the government that defends these things that we say we are not empty talkers he said open his eyes so that he will see and stop this nonsense fear that he's talking up and down we are about to die and he opened his eyes he saw surrounding that entire mountain there were angels this was the revelation Elisha caught. My father, my father, the chariots of horsemen, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Do you know what that means? You alone, you are equivalent to the entire defense system of Israel. What kind of mantle is this that you are carrying? He said you can have it. Now that you have that revelation, mortal men, awesome God. I'm a mortal man, awesome, ordinary man, yet a supernatural God. You know, many times when I'm going for meetings, especially crusades, I just see people praying. When I came in yesterday, as late as I came, I saw people shouting and rejoicing. And in my mind, I'm saying, oh dear, oh dear, do I not deserve to be arrested if I just came on my own? To have wasted these people's time by what authority do you believe that the sick will be healed that lives will be transformed veterans of the gospel many of you here have left your busy schedule to just sit down under this grace would it not be arrogance for me to stand and believe that you will be blessed just by my speaking as a man no but i give you one assurance this government you see that backs us is a powerful government is the reason why we can call on the nations and tell them come and see what he's doing and not be afraid you know why because we are aware of the governance of this government we are aware of the power of that kingdom but we've been granted the privilege to see that government in action america may keep quiet over some of these nations and warn them gently be careful we will bring sanctions and we'll deal with you just because they are being polite does not mean it's fear by the time they are talking they've studied the entire security system and found all the loopholes there and in one day they can come and capture everything crumble their economy and teach them a lesson this is how god is so you can see a man gentle as a dove and yet when the power of god comes someone who has been in captivity for 10 years just one moment don't ask the question how did this happen uh -uh. understand that there is an invisible but real government real government real government let me have two or three of the protocol guys we're about to pray 
just or any three gentlemen please just come up thank you three or four of you i want to teach you something don't forget this there are many things that happen to a man when god calls you number one god gives you a mandate when god gives you that mandate listen carefully number two god gives you the backing number three god gives you access to resources both human and material number four god gives you the platform don't don't forget this every time god calls you these are the things he gives you number one he gives you the mandate the message a representation of the dimension of him committed to you number two the backing the government that protects defends and validates that you were sent number three he gives you access to resources human and material resources and then number four he gives you the platform if you do not have these four things go back to it for a retreat and verify whether you were called this is what happens the more you walk with God so I'm calling to ministry and here is the angelic and spiritual backing the defense system of heaven that works with me by reason of this there are results I can produce but clearly you see the limitation as I grow in my relationship with this government part of the rewards that are given to me every time a new anointing comes upon a man among the things that happen is that there is a greater defense system from heaven a greater backing from heaven are we together so now both of you follow me now you are not seeing them it is only me so when I come for your conference the person who was not healed last year now is healed this year and you are wondering what changed this is what changed a heavier backing from heaven by the time I remain conscious of my submission you knew me five years ago by the time you see me five years later you are thinking this man alone but it's been added now watch this come gentlemen please stand around this pulpit just stand here just stand here just stand here you are going to lift it gently so we hold it here watch this assuming you are not seeing them come sir join them you are not seeing them i'm the only one you are seeing is that true now watch my hand say miracle worker say powerful man drop it down again what sort of a powerful man is this you say but this is what is happening in the realm of the spirit now watch this come now i called you for a conference i said go and bring every sick person look at the level of backing i have i'm about to be embarrassed true or false are you seeing why we must grow because now look at the weight i didn't measure my size spiritually this is where premature manifestation is dangerous we are all men of god you are about to disgrace yourself in a very painful way now look at the kind of load i want to carry before everyone ready let's attempt don't break it and so i try and you are wondering jesus is mentioned the bible was opened prayer happened what happened the government is writing through my limitation this is a letter from heaven you need to come closer to this government because the way the economy of this system works is the greater the relationship the greater the backing now there are men who are so am i boring you add two more gentlemen because god is revealing your spiritual state two more i like these hefty people i ah, know no, no. <laughs> now watch this add two more gentlemen Two more gentlemen come come anyone whether protocol or not just come follow me everywhere i go there are people who are like this just follow me i'm going on a crusade ground follow me now all of you very quickly let's leave this as fast as we can come i've not even laid my hands and it's lifted are you seeing this now i didn't touch this i wanted to but before i would touch it it is the extent of the backing which is a product of the submission look how long they are keeping it waiting 
I'm not even near it. Now you are not seeing them. Man of God, this is the secret. And everybody's watching. Apostle, you must be a mystery. You be, this has been hanging for 10 minutes. No, it is not the man. It is, look at the size of this man. Please drop it down, sirs. Stand here again. I do not want you to forget this for the rest of your life. Come close to me. Now, we are going to act a one-minute drama. Come, gentlemen. Come and try to fight me. Alright? You come. Just do your best. Guys, defend me. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start with this man. You try to fight me. Come. You can overpower him. So you see, I can be a victim. Because this guy is clearly, is that true? But you go back. Come. Now all of you, remember how you always stand. Now I'm the only one he's seen. But he does not know what is in front of him. You come. Come. Watch this. Watch this. Keep pushing. He's stubbornly trying. He believes after two years he will succeed. Oh, what, what a wasted effort. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord and a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head listen to me is it not a reality in your places of work that when they promote you there are certain things that come with that promotion there is a level you get to they give you an official car there is a level you get to they give you an orderly there is a level you get to where there is now a heightened security system there is a level you get to where the door answers to only you it uses your fingerprint go and try to enter the asso rock and then you will know that it is a secured place go and try to enter the white house believers hear me I'm not wasting your time, believe me. We're going to pray. For some of you, this is all you have. For 10 years, you have refused to understand this submission. No matter what your titles are called, bishop, apostle, that's not what the realm of the spirit believes. Your submission. Whereas, look at what was destined for you. This is the kind of backing that was supposed to follow your mandate. This is the kind of backing that was supposed to follow your business. This is the load you want to lift. Some of you don't even have any backing. You are alone. You've been struggling for 10 years. Getting jealous and getting angry. And saying, no, anybody that lifts this must be a demonic person. No. Refer to point one. Spiritual illumination. The miracle of open eyes to see that if this thing is ever lifted, if the sick are ever healed, that you hear someone say oh the power of god is touching someone now it is not magic this is what happens in the realm of the spirit do you know my prayer for you that you build such stamina in the spirit come close gentlemen that you get this kind of backing come as close as you can to me watch this look at this level of spiritual fortification now he can send you if he sends you anywhere you can go he can send you to governments to presidents and you come in the name of the lord in the name of the government that backs you someone you need to relinquish trying to go in your name ask the prodigal son he's taught us a lesson for as long as he was under the authority of his father there was no lack there was no fear but the moment he left his father and was under his own authority he began to plunge until he stayed with swine Businessman, hear me. Preacher.
teacher hear me this is the voice of the spirit to you if you are waiting for time to change this nothing will happen you will need to submit hallelujah can you spare me 10 more minutes i need to teach you how we submit in this kingdom because if i just wrap up like this there is the third law but i'll probably leave it for evening so that we'll just use it and just move to the miracle service but never forget this never forget this lord a greater backing a greater backing a greater backing this is my prayer i have seen this in the realm of the spirit this is what gives me confidence i don't just travel to go no sir i don't know the challenges that are here right now i don't know the problems of people here except you want to fake this thing can i tell you if this power is not there it is not there you can give explanations you can give all kinds of things when the backing is there one last time gentlemen we are going to lift this are you ready this can be financial limitation this can be whatever in ministry god is saying come on to me all you that are weary look how easy i can lift it jesus is talking to someone stop running around trying to look for fame and go back and submit to his authority in your submission is your immunity in your submission is your strength you will lift many loads now you are not seeing these people you are the one that the world will see behind this exploit impossible feats by the hand of god please drop it down pray in one minute everyone gentlemen may the lord honor you and bless you let's give them a big hand clap as we pray thank you sirs pray in one minute and ask the Lord to help you that you have to submit to his authority are we praying hallelujah let me wrap up with this scripture Matthew 26 and verse 36 Matthew 26 and verse 36 Matthew 26 and verse 36 please bring for me the people who start running out right now by the anointing while these people were lifting this I started seeing very strange angelic manifestations for one of them you had a dream in that dream it's like you saw me laying hands on you this is what happened in the dream the power of God is going to come upon you right now there are a few of them and some of them will start running by the anointing hold them please bring them out very quickly please bring them quickly we're going to pray I want to teach you this Matthew chapter 26 very quickly please <laughs> this is Jesus let me show you how submission happens in the kingdom. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves. There is a woman here. God is opening the prophetic dimension for you. There is an anointing coming on you right now as I'm speaking. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, do not be discouraged that he is going to use you very mightily. It will start with heightened dreams, prophetic experiences and encounters. Help them, please. This is what the Lord is saying. Supernatural, prophetic encounters of the Spirit. This is not some showmanship, please. God is in a serious business of helping us to understand. It is the backing of heaven. The backing of heaven over your life. When you say it, remember, and it happens, it is proof that there is authority and power. Please help them. I just acted something for you here that is a very accurate picture of what happens in the realm of the spirit. So that now you understand that these things do not just happen. Believe me when I tell you it does not fail. We are talking of the power of God. The power of God. We are going to round up. But now while you bring them out, just pay attention to this. 
The Bible says, then come at Jesus with them to a place called Gethsemane. Help this woman, please. This is God's idea of submission. Pay attention. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 We have to work with time. I'm hearing a name. Victoria. Victoria. You are wearing a yellow veil. Like a yellow cloth, a yellow veil. Is there someone like that? Victoria. Please verify so that we... Uh, very, what's her name? From where? Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing that the Lord is bringing a visitation. Where, where is your family? Here. I want to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Captivity goes now. Out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. Can I tell you, some of you, what you are seeing tonight, God is transporting it into your life and into your ministry, into your various assemblies. I'm telling you this by the spirit of the living God. Power, you call it the days of his power. The days of his power. Um, is there someone, is it Ekene or Ekanem? Something like that. What's your name? Come, what's your name? Huh? Come. Look at me. You believe in the power of God? What do you do? You are a pastor. Because you are going to step into this man. There is an evangelistic grace on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's finish this please. Look up please. The Bible says, then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said unto the disciples, sit here while I go and pray yonder. While standing, let's pay attention. Number two, he took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to sorrow and was very heavy. The beginning of the process of his passion now. Number three, he said unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me while he's praying now next verse he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying now look up please this is the hallmark of submission in the kingdom father if it be possible this is my own agenda this is what i want to do nevertheless not as i will but as thou will the bible says when you read the other verses he prayed it again that means the hallmark of submission in this kingdom is when you get to a point where you lose the ability to tell God no. Lord, this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want to do with my money. This is what I want to do with my brain. This is what I want to do with my destiny. However, I submit to you. Whatever you want is what I will do. Where whatever you say is what I will do. Can I tell you this? You are not truly submissive if you still have a will of your own to fight God. Whatever God wants to do, if it can be done in your life, you have contacted, the, you have stepped into the realm of genuine spiritual power. I'm going to pray for you. We have a service in the evening. Please hear me. Do not forget my teaching on submission. Many of us are trying to use God. Stop only saying, God, I want to go left. And I am intelligent. I went to school. And he says, I will respect you. But if it is power, you will not see it. When you want to see power with God, you must get to a point where you have no agenda of your own. That agenda is to see him revealed and to see him glorified. And even if it will cost you, you are that willing to say, Lord, your will be done. Therefore, we are going to pray one prayer right now father like abraham laying down isaac i lay down my will for yours
go ahead use me as you wish let Jesus be glorified through my life go ahead and pray I lay it all down again we're wrapping up to hear you say that I'm your friend help me find a way would you bring me back to you wave your hands to Jesus in surrender You're all I want You're all I've ever Listen to me. For some of you, this is the financial mountain standing before you. You have done everything you know to do. Apostle, I'm a contractor. Leave the issue of contract now. We are not talking contract. We are talking relationship with a government. That's what will supply the backing and the favor. Apostle, I'm a man of God. It's because of my location. That's why church is not growing. It's not true. It is because of the low level of the backing. When you are really backed by God, even in the wilderness, God will send men. When Gideon submitted to the authority of the Lord, he blew a trumpet and 32,000 people from everywhere they came. Everything that has not been working in your life today, it might be because it is lack of submission. But I have come here by the privilege of God's grace under the leadership of your pastor let me speak over someone's life believe me when i tell you what i say will come to pass remember what i taught you we do not speak empty words there is a government that backs what we do i speak right now every door I declare, may that door be open now. Open now. Everything distracting you, making God look like an interruption to your advancement, distracting your hunger for God, distracting your fire for spiritual things, I cause it now by the God of heaven. In your submission is the lifting of your ministry in your submission another word for submission is surrender in your surrender is your greatness some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears in your submission and your surrender is your relevance man of God you will not become relevant just because you are traveling around no your relevance is tied to your surrender your prosperity in the kingdom is tied to your surrender. Now let me pray for those in front. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's brought you out by his spirit. Step into a new season. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please let me encourage you. Whatever it is. That you need to do to make sure. You are here tonight with your family members. If you can explain to them. That there is a move of the spirit in this place there are overflows even if there's no space climb the zinc and sit there but whatever it is because tonight i'm going to be praying for people and one of the graces one of the things i believe will happen tonight we're discussing power there will be an impartation of graces listen that dimensions you did not function in hitherto by the privilege of the grace of God you know a man of God who needs to be here you know a businessman who needs to be here you know someone who is is within town and needs to be here Please, I want you to call them this is not about um, you know just trying to come and honor a man this is Jesus Christ wanting to reach people you know people families with impossible situations 
please give them a chance to experience the power of God. May the Lord bless you. May these revelations remain true in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.